Hey, how you doing today? I am Tequila Coleman. In today's video, we're going to talk to those of you who are dealing with a shy spouse. So if your prodigal spouse is shy, you know, understand and know that this shy spirit is one of the reasons why you're not hearing from your spouse. This is one of the reasons why your spouse uh, could be behaving in ways where they are doubting what God said or they even may uh, be withdrawing themselves from you. Um, you know, and all of these things can come across as rejection. Okay, so let's talk about the shy spirit because it is a spirit, all right? And it's a spirit sent from the kingdom of darkness. I know a lot of you are like, what? <laughs> but it is when you really take a look at um, shy, you know, the spirit and see all of um, what comes with it, you will get the understanding, okay? So, uh, well, let me pull up the definition of shy, and then we're going to jump right into this word. So, uh, here's some definition for the word shy. Shy means being reserved or having or showing nervousness or timidity in the company of other people. Now, scripture tells us that God didn't give us the spirit of fear, or another translation say the spirit of um, basically timidity, you know, but he get he has given us a spirit of power, love, and a sound mind. Okay, so we already know that you know fear or timid it comes from the kingdom of darkness. Okay, can we all agree on that? Um, and when you take a look at the synonyms or shy, we already know. Okay, that the synonyms are the um the synonyms are the other evil spirit that grew up and linked up with this, you know, um, this spirit of shy. So we have timid, we have introverted, nervousness, shrinking, withdrawn, fearful, apprehensive, hesitant, reluctant, doubting, insecure, suspicious, unconfident, constrained, repressed. We're going to take a look at that word repressed, self-conscious, and bears. So all of these things, okay, are opposite of the kingdom of God, okay? Because God is like, look, walk by faith. God is like, be strong and courageous, okay? You know, God is like, have faith, you know, do not doubt, right? You know, he wants us to be confident and secure, you know, in God's, you know, love for us, right? So we already, already identifying shy, this shy spirit, it is sent from the kingdom of darkness. So if you are dealing with a prodigal spouse who is currently, you know, um, they might be shy. They might have a shy personality, but you need to really understand what you're dealing with here. Now, repress, because this was one of the synonyms that's, that's attached to shy. Uh, repress, um, it means to do someone by force. So this repress spirit is now subduing, Okay your god or damn prodigal spouse by force um repress also mean to restrain it also means prevent or inhibit the expression or development of something so your god or damn prodigal spouse they have things that they want to express to you but because of this spirit of repressed this repressed spirit that is pressing your spouse down it's an oppressive spirit okay um, who is very demonic because of this fear is attacking your spouse in this way. This is why for some of you, you're not in communication with your spouse. For some of you, you know, you're like, I don't even know how my spouse feel about me. It is because of this fear we're dealing with here. Okay. Repress also means suppress a thought, feeling, or desire in oneself so that it becomes or remain unconscious. Okay. So again, we don't want our spouses to suppress how they feel. We don't want them suppressing their emotion, their thought, right? We want them to express it to us, okay? So we have to begin to, you know, deal with this spirit, uh, dismantle this spirit in, uh, you know, in prayer, okay? Some of the synonyms that link up with the spirit, um, this repressed spirit, are hold back, hold in, so we're going to command, we're going to rebuke this spirit, uh, hold back in the name of Jesus Christ, okay? You spirit that's holding in my spouse's um, thoughts and emotion, I, I rebuke you and bind you in the name of Jesus Christ, okay? 
other synonyms are suppress, fight, fight back, control, contain, silence, muffle, stifle, smother, frustrate, strangle, gag, conceal, hide, bottle up, okay? So this is what we have to do, all right? If you're dealing with, a, with this shy spirit, you got to take authority over this spirit, okay? You got to rebuke it, bind it, and then begin to destroy that demonic altar, okay? That's erected over your prodigal spouse's life. And if you also, you know, uh, is someone who is shy, or maybe you refer to yourself as an introvert, you have to begin to understand that this is very demonic, okay? It's, it's, it's associated with the kingdom of darkness, okay? So again, just rebuke, you know, uh, the spirit of... Fear, this timid fear, we rebuke you and mind you in the name of Jesus Christ. We rebuke our nervousness, fearfulness. We rebuke our shrinking back, our hesitant fears in the name of Jesus Christ. We rebuke that reluctant, that doubting, that insecure spirit in Jesus' name. We rebuke all suspicious um, uh, spirits in the name of Jesus Christ. We rebuke that constrained uh, spirit, that embarrassed uh, spirit. We rebuke you and bind you in the name of Jesus Christ. We rebuke um, the spirit of control off of our spouse's life in Jesus' name. We rebuke that silent spirit, that muffled spirit, that stifled spirit. We rebuke you and bind you in the name of Jesus Christ. And we we just rip that muff, muzzle off of our spouses. And in, in Jesus' name, we command you to talk. We command you to express yourself. We command you to go ahead and release what is in your heart to your God or name spouse in the name of Jesus Christ. We rebuke that frustrating spirit in Jesus' name. We rebuke that hiding spirit, that bottling it up spirit. We rebuke you and bind you in the name of Jesus Christ. We send the fire of God to destroy every demonic altar, every shy demonic altar, every fearful demonic altar, every timid demonic altar that was erected over our God ordained spouse's life. We send the fire of God to destroy these demonic altars down in the name of Jesus Christ. 